sacred. Huh? Watch out there, Ormond's men. You want to swallow that pink pacifier? Huh? You know why this pacifier is pink? No. Nah. Because my mummy wanted a little baby girl. Mm. 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 
Mr. Orman won't be very happy. Oh, Tom, it's you. Listen. Yeah, look up, Ma. And don't let anyone in. What's wrong? Slim is back. Hi, Tom. This time I'll kill you. Hey. <clears throat> Calm down, Tom. I mean, our fathers were brothers. They were brothers, not us. Mm -hmm. Why did you come back? Oh, Tom, it's Ma's birthday. Look, I brought you a present. Oh, happy birthday. Oh, how beautiful. Yeah, I, I, I had a present too, Ma. Yeah, and it's nicer than his. But it ended up under water. Where did you get it? In Manila. You know where that is. You just go back. That's where bums like you belong. Around here, everyone works now. Work? You call that work? Didn't you promise your father you'd never hunt an animal again? That's my business. It's my business! I have to answer to him, not you. You made me lose 50 pounds sterling. You said 50 pounds? Yeah! <sighs> Here you go. Hey, Ma, look, you see Slim is back. Come on, Slim. Why did you sit down? You hungry, man? I yeah. knew you'd make your yeah, fortune. Yeah, well, I am. So, you want the fried egg? Go, yeah, please. Oh. It's sure nice to see you again, Tom. <laughs> yeah, and you're more handsome than ever. You know? You came back at the right time. Business is great. Hmm, great, huh? Yeah, and if you agree, we could go into partnership and open up an agency. A tourist agency. A tourist agency? Yeah. You mean tourists actually come here? Sure, all the time. Almost never. <sighs> it's a deal. Good. I was thinking of buying a new bus, red and blue. Only 408. Is it an English bus? Uh, uh, no, no. American? Uh, a little bit of a... Ma... Samson, what's the matter? I've got stomach ache. Oh, it's nothing. You don't even know what make of it. Sure. <coughs> Eliza, girl. <coughs> oh, look at her. Shame on you, showing your love that way. Oh, what an actress. Ma, I've got stomach so ache. So what make is it? Mm, I'm busy now. Uh, Go see the doctor. But you said he's a fake. If I say he can fix your stomach, he can fix it. Uh, if you say so. Uh, what do you call it? Is it serious, Doc? Could be. Could be. Ah, uh, go on, it's nothing. But I'm sick. I've got stomach ache. Go see Ma. You said she's a fake. Ah, uh, don't worry. Even a... Slim. <laughs> I'm happy to see you again. Me too. Where have you been? Oh, here and there. Doing what? I'm nothing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was sure of that. Yeah. What about you? The usual. Ma keeps stealing my patients away with her witchcraft, and she can't any longer. Not since penicillin was discovered. I saw your newspaper hanging outside. Pretty good, huh? Hmm. How many copies do you print? Two. And since almost every day Omen's men rip one off the wall, I replace it. Who reads it? No one does, but it doesn't matter. One day they'll learn to read. Who's this Orman? A tyrant. A real gangster. If he keeps on doing what he's been doing, there won't be an animal left. He kills them, and he exports them. All the elephants are gone. But not the butterfly. Beautiful. I never saw this one before. <laughs> Mr. 
Mr. Orman. Excuse me, Mr. Orman. Do you remember me? I worked for you a long time. That's me. See, we have a picture together when you won the championship. You sure have changed. I gotta return to Hoboken. I'm sick. You'll never make it. Oh, let him in here. Said he was a friend of yours. I don't have any friends. Sorry, I forgot. Throw him out. Mr. Orman, sir. Well, well, a famous lawyer. Beat it, I'll talk to you later. Oh, as you wish, sir, but... Beat it, beat it. Yes, sir. Um, mm -hmm. Shall I read that newspaper, Mr. Ormond? Yeah. Read it, good and loud. Right. God created this a rich country, a land with infinite resources, bountiful enough for all men to enjoy. But one day, a thief called Ormond came to our country. Shall I go on? Mm -hmm. Yeah. A gangster. A tyrant without respect for law or human rights. <laughs> ready? Ready, boss. A man who gains power through corruption. A man who is the personification of evil. There have been others like him, but he has found a new way <laughs> to rob us. By slaughtering all the wildlife. <laughs> by killing off our elephants. Oh, <laughs> stupid. all the ivory. Mr. Ormond is not only a thief, but a profiteer. A corrupt man. Yeah? Uh, uh, hey, hey, sir. Uh, can't you read that, Lynn? You boys don't train hard enough. Give me another one. The despicable oh, Mr. Ormond. Did... That's enough. It was the best part. Oh, shut that guy's mouth once it grew. The map. Yes, sir. Come. Here we are, sir. Give you. I'll take care. I need this area here, near the river, fill the dock. There were some shacks down there. I want it all cleared out. Aren't the natives living there? Africa's full of natives. Kick them out. What if they won't go? It's your business to make sure they do go. I know how to treat natives. Mm-hmm. Whatever happens, make it look like an accident. Mm-hmm. You're getting five pounds for your check. Out, I said. You have one hour to get all your things out. Oh, out, out. But please, where will me and my family go? That's up to you. Africa's a big country, lot of space to choose from. Hey, look where that one put his house. He sure picked himself a nice spot. Isn't that where the dark will go? <laughs> hey, you in there. Hey, you're getting five pounds for this shack. Hurry up and knock it down. Go on. Hey, there's trouble down there. Let's go. Step back. One, two, three. What'd you do, lose count? I have no intention of selling. You let go, listen to me. In case you don't know, Mr. Orman can have this place expropriated for the public good. Understand? You sure it's for the public's good? I've got a hunch it's, uh, it's for Orman's good. We got the law on our side. Now the law's in the river. Leave it to me. Are you sure? Yeah. Whatever you say may be held against you. Now leave it to us. Yeah. Hey. Oh, look what 
хочет делать. I still have no intention of selling. I offer you ten pounds. I can't go over that. Hmm. Sure you can. And the Torvesta guy. Mada, mada. What do you say? What do you say? Oh, I know. He's talking Japanese. It must be the telescopic sight. Something is wrong. Where were they made? Japan. Uh, no wonder. Makabagashi! Are those animals moving? What? Yeah. They go fast, eh? Seventy miles an hour. But they were standing still. Only it looks that way. Stop the bus. We can't aim with you bouncing around. Yeah. I can't. The savan is dangerous. We like danger. You are not me! You want to do an insurance company, huh? Yeah, yeah. Only I'm not insured. You're not insured? Huh? Oh, bad. Tom, you're not the kind of partner I like. And I don't like safaris either. Now that you're rich, you think you can do whatever you like. Me rich? I haven't got a cent. <laughs> I haven't got a cent. But when we spoke, you... I never said anything. You never said anything, huh? But I bought a bus. On your word. On my word? Yeah, on your word. 408 pounds. You were supposed to be my guarantee. No, I was gonna pay. The hunters weren't gonna get any animals, Slim. Hmm? No way. All the shells were blanks. Look. Blanks, huh? Sayonara. Oh, I forgot that mine was loaded. You cheated us. Oh. We had what you said. Guns loaded with blanks. No. Made a fortune, huh? Made a fortune, did he? Put it all back. Why? 
Because we can't afford it, Ma. But Slim is coming to dinner, Tom. Not anymore. This shack. Why? Because we have to knock it down, or do you want to argue about it? <clears throat> I think we should discuss the matter. You asked for it? Okay, boys. No, wait. I make him an offer for yeah, it. It's hard. And how? We're offering 50 pounds. Take or leave. Uh, I, I, I'll sell it for uh, 408. What? 408 pounds. I'd shoot him. Shut up, Slimy. Hold it a minute. Are we going to let him push us around? We can't go back to Ormond empty-handed. It's suicide. That's why I say to kill him. We'll make mincemeat out of him. Later, now we pay. Let's at least beat him up. Later. Two pounds each, huh? Well? Here you are, but you'll have to sign for it. Where? Sign here. Can we demolish it right now? Sure. Leave my name there, seeing as you bought the bus with the money you got from my shack. Okay. And I give the orders. That's fine with me. Just don't fly off the handle. Here, uh, give me five pounds, will you? Thanks, partner. Hey, there's no more left. Where are you going? Huh? Uh, don't worry. Yeah. One more thing. The man lose, and the lady wins. Oh, if the hand is quicker God. than the eye, I win. Then place your bet on that one. Yeah. All right, we turn over. You lose. And you win, sir. Five pounds. One, two, three, four, five. All right. The two men lose. Man lose. And the lady wins. And the lady wins. Man lose. If the hand is quicker than the eye, I win. If not, place your bets. Quiet, please. This card. Lady. The gentleman wins. One more time. The man loses. The lady wins. If the hand is quicker than the eye, I win. Place your bets. The same one. Uh huh. You win. Shut up. Ten. Thank you. Hey, you got to give us a chance to win our money back. He gives the orders. We're partners? We're partners. Huh. All right, go. <coughs> hey! The hand is quicker than the eye. Raise your bits. Hey, Slim! Slow down! How much did we win? I have to count it. Thirty pounds. Oh, where are we going? To make an investment. Oh, to make a 
an investment. The door. Hmm? The door! <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Jason. Hi, it's you, Slim. Hi. Hello, mm. Tom. Mm. Listen, Jason. Tom here and myself would like to take an ad out on your paper. A really nice one. For about 30 pounds, huh? But my paper doesn't take ads. Well, couldn't you do it as a special favor? Sorry, boys, but it's against my policy. Huh. Give me my share. The door! Hmm? Close it. Close it. Would you keep an eye on it? Watch it doesn't burn. Did you print this? Yes. Mr. Orman isn't very happy with the tone of your newspaper. If you keep on printing that stuff, he's gonna get very mad. Oh, they're being tough this time. There's a new guy, and he doesn't fool around. So remember, no more sideswipes at Ormond. Is that what you came to tell me? Yes. I've been told that already. <laughs> I'm sorry for you that you don't understand. Because I came to give you some friendly advice. The food is getting cold, Jason. Let's eat. Hey, look, guys, they're having a party. We came at the right time. Let's see what a good host you are, old man. The frying pan. Yeah. Hi. <coughs> no, no, wait. Needs a little salt. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Little taste. Choo, 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 choo. Good. Yeah. <coughs> hey, you threw away all that food. Tasted awful. Uh uh. You want us to get tough? If you like. <coughs> hey, that's a lot of muscle. You an athlete? Let's try it again, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Hurry up, Slim. I'm starved. <laughs> oh. You got the message. Loud and clear. Mm. Mm. Let's go. Yeah yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. When Mr. Ormond reads what you wrote, there is going to be trouble. Yeah, yeah. There's going to be trouble. <laughs> Lots of trouble. Whoever's hungry, follow me. Anything I can do, Jason? I don't know. What can you do? Me? Nothing. Then don't worry about it. Uh, enough, enough. Hey, Doc. Mom made me okay. I told you. She said three magic words. Now sitting and moving bowels is easy. <laughs> you see? Mm. Why are you taking this road? It's a shortcut. And I make the decisions.
Sorry. I need about half an hour. You can visit the village. It's still very primitive, but don't worry. The natives couldn't be more peaceful. They may be a shy. The white man's been here only six or seven times before. Hey, partner, here's another hmm. white man. Maybe eight or nine. He belonged to my father, my father, father, father of my father, father. I'll give you five pounds. I'll give you ten for it. No, no, sir, for that one. Always here, my father, my father's father, father of my father, father. What tradition? No, sir, for less than twenty pounds. It's a deal. I'll take it. These Americans. Twenty? Mm -hmm. um, all right. Here you are. <laughs> Here you are. Thank you, Tom. Huh. I'd get more if I were you. Hmm? How much more? Double at least. Get that bus out of the way. Could you please move it? The keys are in the bus. <laughs> How much did you say, Tom? Double at least. Hmm. Let's meet tonight and discuss it. Hey, Tom, they're moving the bus. You mean they're stealing it? <sighs> Lifting it right from under your nose. What are you doing? Hey! Hey! <laughs> This time we'll break their legs. Yeah. Let's go. You're the guy who told me to move the truck. Hey, keep your hands down. <laughs> hey, Tom. Tom. Uh, I think I'm in trouble, Tommy. What's your name? Said it's over. Mm. I've had this notion for a while now, Tom. In fact, I've been meaning to talk to you for a long time. We've indulged in a few discreet business deals together. And 
so, I thought we might form a partnership. Tourism is becoming important. I could give you 20%. Uh -uh. No, double at least. Huh? We can talk about it. Hi, Papa. Hi, Tom. Come down and join us. Okay, in a minute, but you're all talking business. I'm doing this also for Stella. She's my only child. In this fake antique business, you never know what can happen. If I should be detained for any reason, an honest partner like you could take care of her for me. Hmm. Uh, forgive me, Tom, but there is one other thing. The tourist business requires some public relations, and you should learn to dress the part. Tell me about Bangkok. Bangkok? Uh-huh. Oh, it's a great city. It's the capital of Siam, one of the richest countries in the Orient. The climate is extremely humid, and the population is made up principally of Indo-Chinese. Did you know that Stella was educated in Europe? Oh, yeah? Can she speak it? Huh? Tell me more about your travels. I imagine it must be very uncomfortable in that position. No, I often sit this way. Good <laughs> night, Stella. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> nice evening. Bye. Good night, son. What do you see? I see a great future for you. So help me, I'll wring your neck. Tom, don't talk like that. Alone. I didn't know. You like her? I'll get it. I couldn't care less about Stella. Then why should I leave her alone? That's my business. I thought your business was our business. Uh, Mr. Allman would be honored if you had lunch with him tomorrow. Yeah, I will be there. Hey, just a moment. Huh? I'll decide, okay? Mm-hmm. We'll be there. <laughs> yeah. Good night. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Sit down. Imagine they were put under our place by mistake. How big a mistake? Oh, a small handout. A very big mistake. Blackberry jam? No, it's caviar. Oh, yeah. Pardon? From the Volga. Hmm. 
a little butter. A pinch of salt. Some pepper. And, and... And what? And... Delicious, as they say in Paris. You know what that is. Huh? Sure. Try delicious. How's yours? Mm. Any good? Mmm, mmm, very good. It's a little tacky, but it's edible. Mm. We'll have dessert in the garden. I think we'll get along. In fact, I know we will. It's all a question of flexibility. Because if you can't bend, Think about it. <clears throat> Maybe you don't know who's the boss around here. I am. That's a point I'd like to clear up right now. Listen, if you're going to believe all the garbage your black doctor friend writes about me, you'll end up suffering the consequences. Clear? Mm-hmm. I'll get rid of him and you too. Well, you accept? No. No. You don't think you're going to leave the same way as you came in, do you? Nope. Nope. It was a great lunch. Mm, yeah, great. Yeah. Come on! Have a nice day, Leo. The pool! The pool! Oh, the pool! Oh, the pool. Oh, the pool. Oh, the lions swim! Yeah, but 
I like the way you handled Orman. Your plan was perfect. Yeah, of course. If Orman offered us over a thousand dollars, it means something big is going on. It's probably worth a lot higher price. Don't you think so? Huh? Oh, of course. Yeah. I'm getting up here. He was the only unhappy animal. <laughs> Ever see this before, Jason? You set down three stones. Then you take one, you take two, and the third one you chuck in the brook. Then all you got left is one, two... And three. It's not a bad trick. <laughs> What is it? 
a yellow morpho, the most beautiful butterfly, and it got away. You told me you've been trying to catch a yellow morpho ever since you were a child. And I haven't caught one yet. <laughs> to put a stop to Ormond, we really needed someone like you. Even as a kid, you didn't like to be pushed around. You wanted your freedom, remember? And you haven't changed. got into you. <clears throat> She's beautiful, isn't she? You got her. Yeah. Why? She was too beautiful. Tom, never expected to find you here. Yeah, well, uh, I just uh, went out for a ride. Couldn't sleep. You couldn't sleep? Hmm. So this is where Orman stocks his animals, huh? Yeah, boxed in like sheep. Ready to ship out. Daddy dog, he's got them tagged and all. Let's see. Where is he shipping them? Ontario, Canada. You know what that is. Of course I know. Yeah. God awful hot there, isn't it? Oh, is it ever? Anyway, why worry about it? Yeah. Hot chico. Long. Yep. Yep. Yeah. 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 Long. Don't they look nice? Yeah, they remind me of you somehow. Very funny. Hey, big mama, you gonna free the lions too? No, you're gonna free them. Oh. All right, pussycat, let's go. Up to, that's it, up to. Up to go, up to, single file, don't push. You too, come on. Anybody else hiding? Huh? Okay. Take off, sweeties. <laughs> What's the matter with him, Tom? It's the third time they catch him. He's beginning to like it here. Move it. Come on. Mm. Hey, he's coming right at us. Keep cool. He'll move over. Mm. He doesn't stop. He'll move us over. Push! Lousy, no good. 
brakes! Don't ask me! You're the driver! Come on! Huh? Where's the, the, the road? I thought you knew! You're a big help. Hey, what's that up there? Where? There. There's a fork ahead. See? Oh, yeah, I know where we are now. Make a right turn. I know the road. It goes right through a field. Where's the field? Through a field, did some field. If he ain't dead already, so help me, I'll kill him. Hey, where the devil? Oh no! Oh my God! Hey, Slim. Don't you believe in old Ma any longer? All I need is a little iodine, Ma. That's the stuff doctors use so you won't get well. Ma Kunst. You found Ma Kunst. A cause of my ears of womb. Kunst. Yes, a womb. Kunst. Kunst. You destroyed my bus. <clears throat> We're ruined. Only because you weren't insured, Tom. That's <laughs> enough, boys. It's time you start acting like men. The time has come to collect. And to do what your fathers would have done. Hey. <laughs> they would have shot each other. That's a great idea. I've got a better idea. So what's your better idea? Uh. Oh, a robbery. Yeah. Anybody home? Gentlemen, can I help you? Mm -hmm. How much can I get for these? Oh. <sighs> mm -hmm. Sorry, you can't enter without a tie, it's the rule. A rule is a rule. Oh, okay. Thanks. But, sir, I... Shut up! So what's your idea? To win.
Madame? <laughs> Why did you do that for? We are gentlemen. <laughs> I know what that is, yeah. Thank you, mesdames et messieurs. Merci. The house wins. Another round, s'il vous plaît. Here we go. Faites vos jeux, mesdames et messieurs. Place your bets. Oh! I say there, you... All right, we're ready. Mark your bets clearly, please. The bank is at 2,000 pounds now. Mark your bets up to... I'll call a bank. Yes, madame. Mark your bets there, please. Monsieur? I'll be back. Oui, monsieur. We are ready? You, monsieur. Mark your bets. I'm sorry, sir. 20 pounds uh, minimum. Uh, here. Finish? No more bidding, right, sir? Ready? Shoot the car, sir. Turn. A card for the bank, sir. And it is? An eight. Eight. The bank wins. Another round. Faites vos jeux, mesdames et messieurs. I don't like this game. All you do is lose. Mm -hmm. The bank now is at 3,900 pounds. Don't you find this game boring, madam? It's most dreary. Doesn't excite me at all. Almost ready. Mark your bets, please. The lady's changing games. But that's not possible. Hmm? This is simply outrageous. What is happening here? This game will thrill you, madam. Mr. Bigot! Ladies and gentlemen, this new game is called Find the Lady. The tens lose, the lady wins. The tens lose, the lady wins. Now watch the little lady, the tens lose, and the lady wins. Hard cash only, dollars, pounds, no chips please. Watch the lady. Where has she gone? Find the lady, place your bets. That's the lady. Mm -hmm. That's the lady? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, madam. <laughs> Here we go again. The tens are losers, the lady's a winner. Keep your eyes on the game. Now watch the lady. Don't let the tens tempt you, but the lady lure you. One, two, three. Where can the lady be? Uh, the one in the middle. No chips. Hard cash only. Dollars or pounds. Here you go. Ah! Oh. Find the lady, find the lady. Yeah. What's the luck? Tens lose. The lady wins. Place your bets. Hundred pounds on that card. Oh. Wait a minute. It's not. Hey. Hmm. The gentleman lost control and abused the lady. But have no fear. She'll reappear. Huh? Yes. 
she's beautiful. The other one. No, not you. Now let's find the lady, ladies and gentlemen. The lady wins, the ten loses. One, two, three, where can the lady be? One thousand pounds on that card. Again, ladies and gentlemen, find your lady. Tens lose, lady wins. Quite a prop. <laughs> Goody. Isn't it scandalous letting blacks in? But, sir, the world is not divided between blacks and whites, but between rich and poor. Tens lose, the lady wins. Hello? The lady. The lady. All the money you have, I cover. Oh, uh, Tom, we lost. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> I'm going to kill you, I know it. Well, we can always start over again. Uh, no, we can't. Hey, I'll decide that. Uh, no, we can't. <laughs> Shall we go? <laughs> I declare you under arrest, charged with armed attack, gambling, the kidnapping of 54 people, swindling, smuggling, impersonating a gentleman, and disturbing the peace, etc., etc., etc. You managed to get him into trouble. Oh, me? Yeah, you. I 
nice try, huh? Mm. Well, what did you expect? That's enough. Quiet, you. Can't you understand that you've been condemned already? Huh? What the hell has he written there? That we've been condemned. <laughs> but unjustly. To say the least. Is the hay ready? Relax. Ma paid off the judges. Who? <coughs> the court! Judges. Ma had some savings. Savings? She never told me. There's been a change of Is the defense ready? Yes, Your Honor. Who's that? Every trial has its lawyer. Your Honor, my clients place themselves at the mercy of the court. Is the hay ready? What? Is the hay ready? Well, I hope so. You only hope so? Mm hmm? You can't do that. Listen to me. I'm your lawyer. Let the lawyers come out, take it in your hands, I say. Your Honor? Those are tough men. I've always been surrounded by jerks. Did you call, Mr. Orman? Yes, uh, it was, uh, I was thinking of doing something for that poor fellow condemned to life. Hmm. Nothing is worse than writing your life away in prison. Hmm. A lynching in his case would be a blessing. One, two, three, and it's all over. Ah, you're too kind, Mr. Orman. Yeah. I know. Of course, I'm counting on the fact that, uh, that we'll cop the other one. He would be a rotten coward if he didn't try to free his friend, eh? Ah. You're a genius. You think of everything, Mr. Ormond. Smiley. Coming to buy the ivory and the animals. Now, this deal is worth 100,000 mm pounds. -hmm. And I don't want the slightest incident to queer it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Welcome to Ormond's Park, gentlemen. Uh, Daring and uh, hey, Schultz. How do you do, Mr. Schultz? We'll hang him by the throat. We'll kill him. Hang him by the throat. Get the noose on. on. There he is, Chris. We'll kill him. There he is. Yeah. Yeah. Get away! Get away! Take him there! Stop the force! Bring him up! And come on now! The trap's about to be sprung. When his friend shows up, you shoot.
He can only come from there, or there, or there. Look out! Earthquake! for a visit. Nice jail, eh, Tom? What are you waiting for? Get me out. Listen, I could be wrong, but I really think they're going to lynch you. Get me out, I said. How's that? And stop acting like an idiot. Don't tell me you're afraid. Me? Afraid of that bunch? Ha! Let's lynch him! Afraid? Yes! Don't you think the animals will have a difficult time adapting themselves to Canada, going from a tropical climate to a polar climate? Not at all. Canada's their natural habitat. They get sick here. The cold is good. Yeah? Do you really think that's true? I don't think so. I know so. Meat is better preserved when it's cold. Get off my feet! We're falling to step, will you? Hungry? 
Yeah. All ashore. Be right down. Thank you, Mr. Ormond. We'll be back in about six months. Mm -hmm. See you soon, Mr. Schultz. Remember, we get first bid on all the ivory. You got my word. That's even better than ivory. Fun <laughs> <laughs> for you, ice, Captain. Sir, I'll be going ashore now. Why so soon? It's a nice boat, Mr. Ormond. Would you mind telling your men to throw their guns in the river? Your guns, over the sides. And knives, too. Chuck it over. Is that everybody? Tom, how are you doing? Hey, Tom! Who's this Tom? Nay! Oh! Oh! Will you kindly tell the captain there's going to be a delay? Mind stepping over there? He was traveling light. There's been an unexpected delay, Captain. Go join the other punks. No pressure. Good, huh? Heavyweight? Of course I am. Huh. So is he. Oh, my God. 
Chances with the crocodiles. Here. Any crocodiles down there? Uh, just a few big ones. Hmm. Hey, you. Your Honor. Lively, step lively. <laughs> Who's going to pay for renting the boat now? Uh, they will. Yeah. Well, that'll be a thousand pounds. Double at least. And you can double it again. Hmm? You don't want this money to get wet, do you? You don't want us to. Yes. But I don't know how to swim. You'll learn, you'll learn. Go on. <laughs> Hey, look who's still there. He keeps losing his way. No, he likes you, Tom. Yeah? Yeah. Hey. Let's keep him. Huh, and now what? Way anchor. I warn you, it's piracy. And I'm warning you to get started. Where to? The Maldive Islands. You know where that is? Nope. Neither do I. Set course for the Maldive Islands, Captain. This won't end here. Uh-uh. This will end here. My job is to land the bag me. Shout out if you want to 